Winston and the Beard, good morning. <clears throat> I feel like the parrot from The Lion King with the morning report. Uh, hi, uh, I thought I'd show you where I am today. Uh, I am in Michigan. Uh, we drove uh, for two days from New York, so we, we, we stretched across New York. We went through Pennsylvania, the, the small bit of Pennsylvania at the top. Uh, we we danced through Ohio, uh, we went into Indiana very shortly, and then uh, KP thought we were going to go west past Chicago, all the way west. Uh, but I said, no, uh, we're not doing that, we're going to go north. A uh, little, little surprise for him. <clears throat> so we went up into Michigan. Uh, drove up as far as uh, Grand Rapids, uh, took a west turn, and headed out to the coast. Um, when I say coast, I mean not the ocean. Uh, and that's what I thought I'd come show you. So let's go and have a look. Oh. Some cool mushrooms. If, uh, <coughs> if you're a mushroom fan. <coughs> uh, so yes, we, we come up through Michigan. And uh, the coast that I'm on is the... Let's get this right. The east coast of... The lake. So I'm east of the lake. Does that makes sense. And uh, through the trees. If uh, the sun isn't blinding you, Lake Michigan. Another one of the Great Lakes. I've seen a few now. Uh, Ontario, uh, Lake Erie. Camp next to that. Uh, and now uh, Lake Michigan. It's very pretty. Came out here last night and it was very, very foggy. Most of the drive yesterday. Um, uh, it wasn't as bad as the day before where we had some serious rain, but um, yesterday was really misty everywhere. It wasn't, uh, it wasn't very nice, but it wasn't dangerous. Uh, so, I came out here last night, I don't know if you can see into the sun, but the, there's a peninsula of land sticking out over there. I uh, couldn't see that last night, it was very eerie. <clears throat> Try not to make my video too long. One thing that is very strange, if you're a Brit, uh, I am in a little place called Sleeping Bear... State uh, National Park, uh, Sleeping Bear Sand Dunes National Park to be precise. And what's weird is that when you're a Brit, you're not really used to seeing sand dunes the size of your house, or size the size of a small castle, uh, so far away from the coast. I must be 1,500, 2,000 miles away from the coast in northeast and west directions, a hell of a lot further south. Uh, I'm not used to it at all. So Lake Michigan has its own, uh, and I'm sure some of the other lakes do too, has its own uh, sand dunes. <clears throat> I won't say resort, but area. Sand's pretty nice. If uh, if you're a sand fan, I'm not, it gets in your pants. But it's very pretty. It is now anyway, last night was was not so pretty. It was a bit, a bit dark and grey and foggy, but uh, in the morning, it's much nicer. Um, massive lakes, I mean, we have nothing like this back home in, in the UK, or in Europe, I don't think. Uh, the lake could probably definitely swallow Wales. It probably could sw they could probably swallow England as well, quite easily, if, if not more. Um, certainly the bigger of the Great Lakes. It's quite choppy this morning. It was very still last night. <clears throat> anyway, what we're we doing today? Um, we're we're on the west of Michigan, the east coast of the Michigan Lake. Uh, we're going to head north 
if uh, if we get some good driving done and the conditions stay chirpy, then uh, we might uh, even get to the Canadian border. But uh, it is a little bit drive that, and, and there's plenty to see uh, en route that we want to stop at. So, uh, cheerio, I'll see you there.